Hey everybody, quick video to talk about my first experience using Theater Mix. I made a video a couple years ago, my approach to mixing musicals, that was really just a line by line show, no scenes, mixing on DCAs, channels, everything, kind of pulling out all the tricks, uh, and that was on an M7. But for this show, I wasn't gonna be here for a couple of the shows of the run, so I wanted to be able to program the show for another operator. And that's when Theater Mix came into the mix. If you haven't heard about Theater Mix before, a bunch of great videos. James Holt, I believe, and a partner, I think, created the uh, piece of software. It's really phenomenal, and it's been a great experience for me. Um, in a nutshell, Theater Mix is a piece of software that runs on a computer, and it's networked into your console. I'm using this with an X32, but it's available to be used with several different consoles. It allows you, basically, to manage mixing a show using DCAs and an easy way to assign and unassign actors, groups of actors, etc., cetera, um, into a DCA. But in general, this is it. We've got uh, Theater Mix, we've got QLab. I kind of set this laptop to be kind of the show laptop. I can go through my scenes, I can see when the QLab is firing. Uh, it would be nice to have another screen maybe right here to see QLab, but in this situation it was um, as efficient as possible. Um, I set the system up so I could always be looking at the stage. That's kind of my thing. If I have my script here, I tend to not be looking at the action on the stage. So I like to be able to just read the script, look up, read the script, look up, glance over what scene I'm on, make sure the cue is firing, make sure the cue lab is firing, etc. Um, I also multi-track the show. I use Reaper, and that allows me, when I come in in the morning, where the actors are here, to go ahead and just run through some scenes and practice and make sure that the cues are lining up correctly. So when I'm hitting my go button, it's corresponding correctly with the script and it's as clean and tight as possible. Um, I'm not using many other of the great features that Theater Mix has just because this is my first show using it and I didn't have much time, honestly, to program the show. I did use a couple snippets within the X32 to handle some monitor sends on and off. I did engage the effects parameter. So there's a couple lines in the show that require some reverb. And that's basically it. I've got a little uh, speaker here I got at a thrift store. That's my PFL Q out, so I can just take a listen over there. You probably noticed in uh, other videos, I have a little device that kind of goes in between your monitor output and your comm to be able to listen to a PFL in your comm. I just didn't have that for this show, so I had to kind of come up with a punt that worked. Got a little reference mic there for some delay times for smart. All RF is next to me just because this is a very slim show as far as crew is concerned, and I couldn't put it on the deck because I needed to be able to monitor it myself. Um, so that's what I do. And that's basically it. Give Q Lab and Theater Mix the combo with an X32 a try. It's really, it's been a great experience. Grateful for James and his crew for putting this together. It's been really helpful for me in this show, and I'm looking forward to using it soon. So thumbs up, Theater Mix.